Hi friends, it's Miss Erin from the Herrick District Library here to share another baby story time with you. This story time is designed for those of us who are expecting infants in our lives through about 18 months or so. It's a very interactive story time between you and your young child, so um, I encourage you to have them with you today, or you can watch with me and then just do these rhymes with them um, at another time. Some of us are very conscious, very concerned about screen time and all of that, so um, really my goal is to teach you things for you to do with your young child throughout your day in order to set that sort of um, groundwork for getting ready to read. So let's get started. This week, um, I, I, I think I mentioned this before, I'm not really a theme person, but it kind of ended up that way again. Um, we're gonna sing a bunch of different songs that um, happen to do with either transportation or being in a car um, or are using tunes like that. So I don't know, just worked out that way today. Um, actually, but this first one, we're gonna sing it to the tune of the wheels on the bus, um, but it's actually more about body awareness. Learning our body parts, gives us context for ourselves, but it also introduces us to vocabulary and understanding that um, everything around us has a name. And um, so it's even as simple as our, what our, these are our fingers, these are our toes, these are our arms, this is our head. Um, it's why head, shoulders, knees, and toes is such a popular one, um, especially as we get older, so that we can show off that we know those body parts really well. Um, but we're not there yet. So we are still learning those things. Um, for this one, you can have your baby in your lap. Um, they can be on the floor in front of you. Um, I always like to have them facing you because they want to see your face. They um, are interested in seeing your face as much as possible. So this one is about we're going to clap our hands and then we're going to kick our feet um, and then we're going to uh, kiss with our lips. So here we go. I can make my hands go clap, clap, clap. Clap, 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 clap. I can make my hands go clap, clap, clap. They're a part of me. Next, let's find our legs. Where are your legs? Where are they? <gasps> there are your legs. So we're gonna make our legs go kick, kick, kick. Here we go. I can make my legs go kick, kick, kick. Kick, 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 kick. I can make my legs go kick, kick, kick. They're a part of me. And for our last one, we're gonna make our lips. Where are your lips? Mwah. We're gonna make them go kiss, kiss, kiss. Here we go. I can make my lips go I can make my lips go. They're a part of me. So that's it. You can do that with a whole bunch of different body parts. We can make our elbows go up and down like we can do like this. Um, we can make our fingers go in and out. Um, that helps us teach those opposites, which we know are so important as well. And obviously, if we're old enough, we can do these things all by ourselves and our grown-ups can just do them with us. Um, again, this is one that they can be on your lap, they can be on the floor in front of you, um, whatever is most comfortable. They can be standing, they can be standing if you want. Uh, that works too. So um, that's just, again, a really fun one for them to make context around these are my hands, these are my legs, these are, this is my lips, and this is what they can do. Um, learn, they can learn that vocabulary and then also just get that context for the world around them. These next ones are really all about being in a car. We tend to spend a lot of time in a car. Some of us like being in a car. Some of us really don't like being in a car. Um, the car is an excellent place for us to sing, to point out what we're seeing, and to talk. It's a great place because they can't get away from us. Um, so I encourage you to use this time as a, a way to really do some work that you're probably already doing. You probably are talking, you probably are singing in the car already. Um, but these are just some ways to sort of, again, give some context to what we're actually doing. Um, the first one is just super easy. This can be one that we can sing um, as we're getting into our car seat. We're getting in the car, we're getting in the car. Hi-ho the Dario, we're getting in the car. Um, I'm buckling up my car seat, I'm buckling up my car seat. Um, and then we're riding in the car and we're riding oh so far. So 
I'm just going to sing a couple of those verses to give you the idea. And again, this is one that adapted to however works for you. It's just a good jumping off place, I think, for uh, maybe adapting it to what your child's needs are particularly, or just, uh, it can also just be a fun song to sing. So, we're getting in the car, we're getting in the car, hi-ho, away we go, we're getting in the car, we're getting in our car seat, we're getting in our car seat, hi-ho, the Dario, we're getting in our car seat, where, and then we can, we can also pretend to drive if we're that old, right? We're driving in the car, we're driving in the car, hi-ho, away we go, we're driving in the car. Or, we're riding in the car, we're riding in the car, hi-ho, away we go, we're riding in the car. We're riding oh so far, we're riding oh so far, hi-ho, away we go, we're riding oh so far. So again, these are ways that we can give, we, we, we can help with those transitions. Transitions are usually the tr trickiest thing for us. When we're little, we don't understand what's going on and we don't wanna do what, we, what we're being asked to do. Um, so it's just a good way to give, again, context. We're getting into our car seat. We can do, we're buckling up our car seat. Um, and again, singing is a good way for them. If you do it consistently, if it's something that works for them and you can do it consistently, they will remember, oh, we're singing this song, so this is what we're doing next. Um, so hopefully you'll find that one helpful. Um, and this is another one. This next one is To My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean. I, I love that I've been using all of these song, these tunes that are, that are the same um, because I hope it's reminding you that you can make up whatever you want to whatever tunes are available to you. So um, this one, again, is My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean, and it's very simple and it might be a soothing one that you can sing for them if we're upset in the car it might not um, but here's just another one about riding in the car so i love to ride in a car now i will tell you why i love to look out the window and watch the cars go by cars cars just watch the cars go by, go by. Cars, cars, just watch the cars go by. So this is again a great one. We, we can, we are probably spending a significant time, time looking out a window or looking out part of a window. So pointing out that this is what we're seeing outside. And again, you can adapt that. I love to ride in the car. Now I will tell you why I love to look out the window and watch the trees go by. Um, so you can really adapt it to whatever environment you happen to be in. And again, it could be one that you can use as a soothing tune, or it's one that, um, it's just something fun to sing in the car that um, will help them give context to what they're doing. This last one is one for those of us who are a little bit older, and it's a good one if we're stuck in traffic, in particular, like if we're waiting for a train. I don't know how many of us get stuck by a train and we're no longer moving. Um, so. This one is to in and out the window. And this is about looking out the window and, and saying what we're seeing. And you as the grown up are gonna be obviously the one introducing this and being very instructive about this, but making sure you can see what they can see out the window. And then doing, this is, this is how this one goes. Let's look out the window. Let's look out the window. Let's look out the window and see what we can see. I see the blue sky, I see the blue sky, I see the blue sky, and that is what I see. That easy. This is a great one to do also if you have older siblings in the car with you um, who happen to be sitting next to our younger siblings, or it's a great one for our preschool age kids. You can go back and forth and they can point out what they see. And so it kind of becomes a bit of an I spy where they can point out what, what they see and you can say, oh yes, I do see that. And then you can find something that, that um, they can find as well. So I'm gonna do that one one more time um, just so that you get the tune. This is, I think, one of a newer tune for us. So. Let's look out the window. Let's look out the window. Let's look out the window and see what we can see. I see a red truck. I see a red truck. 
I see a red truck and that is what I see. Um, so again, this is a great one for the whole family to sing together. Um, it's a bit of an I spy for those of us who are a little bit younger. Um, and it's also for our babies. They are recognizing that we're seeing something that has a name. That right there has a name. And this is what it's called. We're going to end today with our friends because I, Miss Erin is loving to end this this way. Um, you can tell I'm getting excited for us to be back in person, so hopefully sometime soon. So, um, and this is one of the things we, we often do when we're in person. Let's play a little peekaboo, friends. It's our, oh, who's this? It's our mouse friend, isn't it? Can you say hello to our friends at home, mouse? Hello. Are you waving back, friends? Hello. Shall we play some peekaboo, mouse? Mouse loves to play peekaboo. Here we go. Let's cover our eyes. Peekaboo, peekaboo. I see you. I see you. I see your tiny toes. I see your button nose. Peekaboo, peekaboo. Good job, friends. Thanks for spending time with us today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.